the rocket game will be used on a German website. So I want to create German translations for these labels. Um, I start with copying the original text from the label and creating a CSV file. Um, the first line should be keys and then the shortcuts for the languages, so EN and DE. Uh, and then every line starts with a key, um, game over in this case, and then with the uh, follows the English text and then the German text. Um, game over is a very common term in German. We imported this from the English language, so everyone will understand game over. It's typical for games. Um, but I have to translate uh, the try again message. And uh, I also have to translate the text for uh, when the game is paused. Um, press P to unpause. So I create all the translations in the CSV file and then I save it as translations.csv. Back in Godot, the translations.csv is already there in the file system and it created two new files, one for each translation automatically. But something is wrong with the icon, so I try to re-import the file. Now I have to change the texts of the labels. Labels and buttons automatically use translations when you put the key as the text in the label. So I use the capital letter keys as text. Once this is done, I have to add the translations to the settings. So. I go in project settings, localization, and add the both generated files for the translations. Now the translation is finished. When I start the game, the text appears in German because I'm on a German Windows. And I have to hide the label again, but then uh, the game works. I don't need it here, but you can also translate other resources like images or uh, sound files. Uh, you just go in project settings, localization, remaps, and then you can map other sound files to other languages. And you can also translate texts that are in the script. Um, in the script, just use the function tr. Um, you write tr bracket uh, double quotes and then the name of your key and then double quotes and closing bracket and it will put in the correct translation. 